Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Sim UK. Welcome back to Aquarist. My first job, I think it's called. Is it the first job? Yeah, my first job. So if you haven't seen the other episode that I've uploaded recently, um, we've just basically done the tutorial. Now we're going to get to take on Dad's fish tank, which is absolutely destroyed, and create something really cool. So uh, let's jump in. Alrighty. So first things first. Click to enter edit mode, pick up a net and click on dead fish to catch it. So I'm going to have to buy a net, which is now available. So where where does the net go? Ah, so here it goes. Oh my gosh. Put the net, use the net to put the fish in the toilet or the garbage can. I think the toilet is more humane. A toilet downstairs. Wow. Have I got to do this with each fish, or can I pick up multiple fish for this net? You should be able to, shouldn't you? A big enough net. Oh, wow. It's going to make me do it with each and every one. Bit of an issue there. I think the audio needs some work. Um, you know, I've used nets to pick up dead fish in the past and they never once made that noise. And uh, if you're looking for immersion, if you're looking for a, if, if you want a game to be realistic and for people to go, oh my god, it's just like the real thing. Audio is the most important thing. If you haven't got good audio, you haven't got anything at all. That'll be my wife calling. Bear with me a second, guys. Okay. So, there's definitely a bit of a something going on there because I can't get up the stairs sometimes. Alright, good. That's the fish dealt with. Pick up the sponge and click on the panes of the aquarium that you want to clean. So, this is pick up the sponge. What it means is buy a sponge. And then pick it up. The big ass sponge. Oh, okay. A little bit weird, but okay. Crikey. I feel like Dad needs to sit down and she needs to stop staring. Is that my sister or his wife? Too many connotations there. But how do I get to the back screen? If I want to do the back one. Okay. Maybe the back one is always the last one you can do. Oh, can't get that bit. There we go. Looking a million times better already. Pick up the dirty filter from the aquarium and wash it in the sink. There it is. Come on, take the cups out of the sink first. You need to scrub it. You can't just rinse it. That don't work. Great. It's clean. Uh, 
grab the heater. Which one's the heater? That's the heater. And finally, the thermometer. Buy and pick my nose. Oh, the hose. <laughs> Okay, where do I buy a hose from? There's a hose. Rubber hose, ideal for pouring water. When the water gets dirty or you want to switch your aquarium to fresh water, here's your helper. Grab the hose. Click on an aquarium to place the hose. Buy and pick up a bucket. This is cool. This is definitely cool. It's a little bit clunky, but cool at the same time. While holding the bucket, click on the hose to get the water out of the aquarium. What does it say? With the bucket, you can pour water into the aquarium or extract it with a hose. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Again, though, the audio is appallingly bad. And I wish it was this quick. I notice every time I move the bucket away, some water spills on the floor. I'm not sure your, uh, your dad would be very happy with that. It's all the water. You need to be able to put things down better. Right, use the shovel. We don't have a shovel, right? No. It says I already own one, but uh, I think I'm going to have to buy another one. Horrible job, this. Pick up the soil and the shovel. So I need some soil. for a light colour this time. Definitely need to have more colours. God, this mechanic needs fixing so badly. Right, that's looking ten times better. Whilst holding the bucket, click on the sink to fill it with water.
Okay, buy and pick up the salt so that you can change the type of aquarium water. Oh, that's that's cool. I've never done this. I've never had salt fish. Uh, where, did, where do I buy the salt? Where do you buy the salt? I just saw it two minutes ago. Where was it? Ah, there it is. Okay. Whilst holding the salt, click on the aquarium to add salt and change the water into salt water. Are you sure you want to change the salt water? Remember that fish and plants in the wrong water will die quickly. If you want to change to fresh water, pour out the salt and, and pour out all of the salt water and fill it with fresh. Yes. I am sure. Press space to open the quest panel. Uh, two lamps, turn on the heater, turn on the filter, put the background in the aquarium. Okay. I've got to do all this stuff now. So let's turn that on. Get the temperature right up there into the 30s, I think. Water temperature is currently 18, 19. Okay, so it's going up. That's pretty good. Oh, look, even the bucket fills up with bits of luck. Which is cool. Um, right, so I need to buy some lamps. Two lamps. Hmm. I want it the other way around. There we go. Have that on blue. that on pink that should give us a nice is that do I turn it on there you go look at that that's pretty cool I feel like uh, I need to move this one just ever so slightly left it's not quite going up to the edge there but yeah I mean that looks pretty smart right I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Uh, right, so... Water plants. I'm actually going to get more than it wants. Because... I want to. <laughs> Try and disguise some of the... Uh... Some of the bits and bobs that we want disguised. I'm not sure what's happened there, but that ornament has disappeared. And I cannot get it, so I can't reposition it. A little frustrating, but uh, oh well. Live and learn. Okay, that sort of covers up the uh, heat element a little bit. Relatively happy with that. We need some corals in here now. 
Where do I find the corals? a little bit of everything the more I can squeeze in there the better there's quite a lot here I've got to say probably more than I can fit in I've got to be careful because I've only got 693 left so made a right mess over here Everything seems to fall over to the right. I don't know if you've noticed. I'd say that's looking pretty flipping good actually. Quite impressed. Oh hang on. I haven't finished, got a few extra bits. Oh, this is huge. Is that everything? I think that's all of it. Oh hang on. One of these left. Yeah, that's not looking too bad at all. Right. So. <laughs> they just, they just plant them everywhere. Kind of funny. Yeah, they've definitely got to fix that mechanic. It's well, well broken. Picking things up and putting things down is awful. 
positioning things is not great. That all needs work. Look at that though. Um, let's go for a background. Now, how am I meant to get this at the back? Ah, that. Yeah, I'm quite happy. Um, uh, good conditions. Okay, what do they need? It's too hot. Too hot. And that's it. So other than being too hot, we're all good. Okay, slight problem with my excellent plan. How do I now click on <laughs> the temperature gauge control? I have to move that out of the way. So I can get access to it. Uh. Oh. Accidentally clicked on the seahorse. Where's my little dot? There we go. Bring it down to 25 degrees. Seahorses are very awkward. But looks like 24 degrees is the uh, sweet spot. Oh no, now he's cold. Oh man. Right, back up to 25. Now the temperature's too low. Maybe I need to give it a, a minute to uh, settle down. We'll, we'll tweak it a bit here and there. Right, so we've got to buy... What, what is it he wants? Paracantherus hepatus. Paracampathus. All right. I've accidentally bought four, but never mind. Pretty cool. Right, so, so they're they're fine. So it's just the seahorses that have uh, temperature problems. We need to raise the temperature ju just a bit. The water's now at twenty six degrees, and that's just acceptable. No, apparently that's not acceptable. What's what's the problem now then? Too many decorations. Ah. Which ones do I like least? That's it, we've done it. Let's get Dad's belly out of the way. Bravo, son. We can be proud of such a beautiful aquarium in our living room. A reward is due for a job well done. Here's your money. I feel that you will soon become a great aquarist. Thanks, Pops. Congratulations, you have completed the aquarium. Who the hell's this? Uh, hi. Oh, what a beautiful aquarium. If you are so talented, maybe you could help me with my aquarium. Cat eats my fish and they look bad. Help me, please. I don't know how to fix this. This and many more tasks and adventures await you in the full version of the game. 
you will be able to build an exhibition and a huge oceanarium tank. A huge oceanarium tank. Earn more and more money and build more and more wonderful aquariums. Look at that. Oh my god. I definitely, definitely like this game. Uh, I think there are some things that need to change in this game, personally. I feel like the mechanics for picking things up and putting stuff down and placing items within the fish tank, that all needs looking at. Um, but on the most part, just wow, look at this. I can't wait for this opportunity. Ah, oh, this is fantastic. I hope it isn't too linear. I would much prefer to have a business where people say, hey, I'd like a fish tank with these requirements, and then I go out and I do that job at my own leisure. Now, it's okay if it's linear in the sense that you can't just go out and do the massive job here. You've got to build up to that. I've got no problem with that. As long as there's a bit of variety in it, not one job, then another job, then another job, then I hate that. If there's like three or four jobs available that you can pick between and then new jobs come in and they escalate and get bigger and smaller, that I'm okay with. But uh, yeah, I think this game's great. This game has got mixed reviews on Steam. Can't understand why. I think it's absolutely superb. Yes, it needs a bit of work. Needs Definitely needs some tweaks and changes. But uh, on the most part, big fan. Massive double thumbs up from me. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye for now.